National Tournament Champion, Lecturer, and Seminar Instructor. Professor Crossan teaches in his segment of our 200 Years of Jiu-Jitsu his personal style of Jiu-Jitsu, Streetology. Flexibility, speed, and accuracy are Professor Crossan's well-known traits. Working with such well-known athletes as Thomas Hearns will amaze you with his in-depth understanding of the opponent and their strengths and weaknesses as how to utilize both to your advantage. Some techniques that you can utilize in the street. A man grabbing, strong. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to do this from a few angles, is just get loose, right? We want to shock him and we want to get loose here. So that's the first thing. After here, we're going to move here, back fist, and punch. Yes, sir. All right? Come again. We'll start off with that. One, two, back, punch. And we'll add one more move to that. That's a front kick, cross check, here, here, and here. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be one, two, and three. OK? So the key to developing hand speed is to relax your body, relax your mind, focus in on the technique, and then let it go. So it's going to be one, front kick to the thigh, two, cross block, three, back fist, vertical punch, and spear to the throat. We'll get into the uh, takedowns a little later. Hush. OK, you come on. OK, next technique will be for a man just pushing. Simple move. Say you push. Right, come with the other hand. I'm left-handed. Right. So as he pushed, basically what I'm going to do is evade his push. OK, push slow. Right, I'm evading here. And I'm going to just come here, taking him down. Simple move, but very effective. As he push, circle here and here. If you want, you can separate the fingers and shoot a front kick. OK, we're going to do this to get warmed up. And as we go along, the techniques will get more advanced. Let's see that again from this angle. OK, so as he push, circle. Here, down, front kick. Push. OK, let's work on that. Thank you. OK, this particular technique, these are basic techniques, but they're very effective. As we go along, we're going to add strikes. But remember, relax your body so you can have the speed and the movement of the arms. If you're tight, it's going to hold you back. OK, this particular technique will be for person choking. OK, choke me. Choke. Hey, choke me. Choke me. <laughs> will you choke me? OK. All right, we'll touch here, just to loosen up. It's a little pressure point. She got a strong choke. Oh, okay, okay. She has a strong choke. Okay, right here, just touching, pinching. One, and then we're gonna move here. Watch, sliding here, one finger, and taking down. Hush. I know I'm sweating, but uh, okay. Did you see that? Okay, Hush. Let me get another volunteer, please. Thank you. OK, once again, as a matter of fact, what you can do to make it a little easier is, as he chokes, you can shock here and then go here. Sometimes if the man, like he's tight and you don't feel it, you have to go somewhere else, you see? Because sometimes these like big muscle guys, they won't feel this. So you have to move on to another pressure point. So we'll either shock here or to the elbow. If you want, you can throw a spear hand. Right? If this Good. don't work, go right to the ears Good. and there. Slide the hand off, the fingers pointed up, palm here. Good. And if he goes down, then we can hold him here. Good. See, we have the fingers. Hush. OK, can I get one more person? Uh, thank you. Hush. OK, so with the choke, one, two, three, sliding this off, palm against the palm. It hurts. Right? And if they're down, then you can just put the foot there and press it. Hush. Okay. okay, thank you. This is a technique de defense against uh, someone grabbing around the waist. Okay? First thing we want to do is. Gee. <laughs> we want to just drop the weight and shock with the knuckle hand strike. From here, we're going to just move into a forward wrist and elbow, take down, and shoot a front kick. Right, it's a simple move, but it's very effective. You'd be surprised. If, for instance, they continue to grab, you can stomp, you can hit with a headbutt, depending on what size they are, or you can dig your nail into their nail like this. See that, just scrape their skin, strike in here, 
bend the finger, but we're going to go here, place the thumb here, over, wrist and elbow, and as they're coming down, you're shooting your front kick up. We're not going to go all the way down, but just take them here, and then we're going to continue from here after work on this. Okay, thank you. Hush, can I get uh, one more? Hush, hush. Big guy. Sometimes big guy, because they'll try to pick you up and slam you. Say, try to pick me up, pick me up. See? Look what I got, though. <laughs> so if I go, something else is going. So the more he picks me up, when he picks me up, he'll pick me up like this. <laughs> but he'll let me down like, oh my God. You know? So it's a difference. Okay, so as he grabs, ha, huh, bang, you see? Just to loosen up. Now this hand is on top, so I'm going to go with this hand. Forward wrist, elbow, front kick. Just there. In his case, I would, well, I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> roll out. Okay, hush. Okay, let me do that one more time. Turn this way so you can see. Drop, strike, slide over, one, and front kick. Pressure here on the wrist and on the elbow. If you want, you can finish here with the back fist. Hush. Okay, let's work. Hush. Okay, we're going to add something on to that particular technique. Uh, sir, may I? That same technique. Hush. Okay, as a man grabs, so we're dropping. We're striking. We're going to come here, front kick. We're going to step in and grab here and apply pressure here. Now, what I'm doing is applying pressure to the elbow. I'm applying pressure to the wrist, and I'm choking him at the same time, but I'm easy on the choke. See, here. Now, if it was a big guy, hush. Well, this is a big guy, hush. If it was a big guy like this, and he, uh, once I applied the technique, he tried to, say for instance, boom, I get this. He tried to pick me up, pick me up. The more he picks me up, I'm releasing the pressure here. But the more he picks me up, then the more I would just continue here and just continue to choke him. Right, so if he tries to throw you, then all he's doing is making it worse for himself. Okay, Ush, thank you. Ush, carry. Okay, so big guy, he grabs, we move here, front kick, and we step in. And we drop, if you like. <laughs> but we won't do that because that's a uh, very dangerous technique. I held his face up, but normally we would drive the face into the ground. I still have pressure here and here. And if I want to move, then I can finish him off. Okay, one more time. If for, for some reason you do this and you happen to slip, you can come back. But we'll just work on the original technique. Here, sink in if you want here, here. Stomp, wrist and elbow, front kick, and step in close. Your hips hitting here, place it on your uh, thigh, and apply the pressure in this direction. Here. Ush. Okay, to finish that, which we're not going to do because we don't have enough room, you can just take them back here and finish and keep on going. But we won't do that right now. Okay, Ush. Ush. Okay, let's try another technique here. Ush. Okay, let's try and move. We're going to try something a little different. A uh, man comes here and grabs. This man comes here. As he grabs, this man is going to come and throw a hook punch to my head. So I'm going to block him. Let me turn this way, and then I'll change around. First thing I want to do is stop him, block him, and then just kind of give him something to maintain him with, right? We're going to move from here. Come again. So as he grabs, my first thing is to loosen him up, loosen him up, front kick, and then I'm going to move here where I can continue. You see? OK, this is uh, it's kind of complicated, but I just want to see if you can handle this. Watch again. So I'm shocking him, block palm. Now, as I'm shocking him, I'm still applying pressure here. Getting loose, I can do a kick, push him off, just to get him, in case he comes back in, come in. Right? So I still have my kick. And I'm taking him down, controlling him. It's just a technique to make you think. Ush. Okay, can I get two more? Would you please? Thank you. Okay, you grab from this side. Big guy. Here. Okay. So I shock, right? Okay. Ush. Here, come again. I like that. You do this professionally? <laughs> OK. <laughs> so I'm keeping my eyes on him, but at the same time, I'm keeping my eyes on him. So I can butt, strike, kick, and then turn. See? 
I don't want to push him with the kick, but the kick would be to the face or a strong front thrust kick to the body, just enough to get me loose. Hush, let me do that one more time. Do it from this angle, you grab. So as he grabs, I drop. Okay, come again. As soon as you grab, you punch. <laughs> See, so I'm here. Strike, now if he's that close and I can't get my front kick in here, I might have to throw inside kick to the face and push here and then move and finish. See? So you keep your eyes on both guys. Let me do that again slow. One, two, three. If he's here, I'll just do this and push here. And then take him, front kick, and down. And then I'll stomp. Hush. OK, just see if you can handle that. Watch where you're throwing. OK, hush. Technique for a big man, big guy, two big guys, you two guys. I know who to pick. OK. This guy is going to throw a hook punch to the head, bang. And then this guy is going to throw a hammer fist down to my head. Right. Bang. OK. Got to watch these little guys because they're quick. They'll get you. OK. So, OK, he throws the hook punch. I'm going to block strike. And he comes with his hammer. I'm going to block here and strike here. Then I'm just going to come inside and take the legs here into a double throw. OK? I'll do that again slow. So come slow. One, punch. Two, roundhouse kick. Now I'm just going to place myself inside, inside the knee here. If the man doesn't go with it, then you're going to have to come up and move into a back fist or whatever. But if you do this right, especially with a little help stepping on his toe, then it takes him down. Hush, let me get two small guys. Uh, one, two. Hush. OK, so you come from here. You come from here. OK, and the thing with the uh, hook punch, you come here. Throw that hook punch hard. I don't need a lot of strength like this in order to stop that punch. All I need is this. As he comes, just smooth, relax. So as he come, I'm coming here. Come. To stop him. I'm stopping him from coming in. Then this man's going to come down with his hammer fist. OK, come. So one, two, three, four. I'm stepping inside, just inside the knee and pushing, OK? Hush. OK, one more time. Come quick, one, two. So he comes here, see, and I move here. Right now, for instance, see where his hand is? It's in the way. If his hand is there, then I just have to kick him in the head. And if, for some reason, he's still tight, I'll have to stomp him, right? Hit him, and then go. And then I roll and get on at it, right? Hush. OK, let me get two more. Gentlemen, one, two. Thank you, yes. This won't hurt me a bit. OK. Hush. OK, so he's here. So basically what you want to do is relax yourself. Turn this way. You want to relax your body. I'm here. As he comes, one, two, three, four. I can come here, right, with a double hammer fist. That would be better. Double hammer. Hush. All right. Feel that? OK, double hammer fist. Just pushing inside the knee here, inside the knee there. OK? Hush. Watch where you're falling so you won't clash. Thank you. Hush. OK. Man throws uh, a hook punch to the head, right? We're going to move here in a cat stance, front snap kick. Watch again. Cat stance, front snap, hopping kick. We're going to throw a snapping punch to the throat, which you could throw past, and then we're going to sweep inside here, OK? Watch again. I'm going to do it slow. One, I'm moving inside. Two, front kick, holding this leg up. Three, snap punch. I slide up and bring this in here. Koji Gary, just sweeping with the instep. Here, hush. Doesn't take much, hush, much strength. Would you come one time, please? It's dealing with leverage and balance. Hush. One. Two, it doesn't have to be high to the face. Three, stepping in. Now my body is up against him as he's going. Simple, no pressure at all, just leverage. One more time, please. So he comes hard. I move one, two, three, four, slide, and finish. And then if you want, you can finish, break the leg or whatever. Hush. OK, hush. We're going to try to get about three more techniques in here. Now the thing with these techniques, I'm showing you a lot of uh, 
combination and moves. You may not remember everything move for move, but if you can remember part of the technique, you can create a new technique from this. We have a saying that one technique bears over a thousand variations depending on the creativity of the individual. So when you work on these techniques, you can change them around a little bit and innovate and create your own thing. But keep in mind, at all times, will this be effective for actual street application? Don't do it just to be pretty. Do it because it works. And in an actual street situation, if it's a uh, situation where you got two or three guys, you got to hit and you got to move. You can't be playing around trying 30 moves on this guy, 40 on this It's got to be touch and go. Okay, let's try another one here. Uh, Curry. All right. Okay, man grabbing in the full Nelson, right? Okay, so as he grabs, what I'm going to do is just this, shock him, right? Just shock here. I'm stomping, then I can move here, and I'm going to take the finger and take him down, right? I'm going to do that slow now. Turn this way. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Shocking here to the rib cage. Stomp. If you want, you can grab the arm. Just grabbing the finger while it's pointing up, and I'm turning. You can hit here also. See, I have his finger pointing up, bending back and down. Then you take the elbow here, place it right between the legs, and apply the pressure. And the thing that's good about this is, be, is uh, where's Kay? Okay, while I have him, if his cousin comes, comes, I still have pressure here, and I can take his finger. And I still have the finger. And if, uh, for instance, comes, uh, comes, right, so I, yeah, uh, so I have his finger out, Right, if he chokes to grab, right? I grab here. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Right? And just take him. What's that? What's okay? That? Right. Okay. Ah! Okay. So I'm still pretty free. Okay. To walk away. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So let me get back to that technique. Once again, this is coming here. We're going to work quick because I want to get one more technique. Full Nelson, shock into the rib, stop, elbow, grab in the finger, and turn, and take him down. Unlock the leg here. And pull it. See? This is here. Between the legs. Pull it. And I can watch myself in case anyone else is coming. Okay, good. Let's work. y'all to think I'm a male chauvinist. I beat up women too. No, 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 no. no. I'm only kidding. Right. Okay, this again is for a full Nelson. But in this case, if the man attempts to grab, you're going to move before they grab. I don't mean to call you a man, but you know what I mean. Okay, grab. Oh, not that guy. But you know, since you did, you know, I'm... <laughs> okay, full Nelson. Okay, instead of letting them get the full lock here. Okay, let go, please. Thank you very much. Instead of letting the person get the full lock, this is what you're going to do. Grab. Mm. All I'm doing is turning my arms out, just lock in here. Do it again. Grab. That's it. Here. Then I'm going to move here, and I'm going to go into this move again. But instead of taking back, this time I'm taking forward and down. Then I'm going to put my foot here and apply the pressure right here. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, Kerry, thank you. Good. Okay, big guy, grab me. Take me. Okay, just turn the hand. Right, you can still do this. And move here, turn, bring him down. And then, here. If you want, you can take the chin and turn him over. And still keep the pressure right here on the hand. Okay? On the finger. I'm applying pressure with my toe right inside the juggler vein here. All right, let's Okay, one more time. Where's that big, 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 big? We'll take you, you're a little guy. Okay, grab me. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> See, he wasn't playing, do it again. Right, so that's all you wanna do is stop him first. Now, if he heads me up there, I'll just kick here to the ground. As he dropped me, I'll stomp, butt, and get that finger, and then bring him down. Oh, he went the other way, so I'll just have to go with that. Okay, so I still have the finger. Okay, one more time, please. 
But the thing to keep in mind is don't just focus on this one individual. You never know who else is coming. So always watch your back. This way. If you grab, it's a reflex. See? And I'm bringing my kick up as I come. Stomp. Headbutt. Turn if you want. Elbow. Just taking him down. If he turns that way, then I'll just continue to take him here and lock the elbow. You see? I have pressure on the finger. Notice when I take him, he wants to go that way. So what I will do is just hold him here to keep him from going. And to finish, just finish him off there, okay? Good. Did we get that? Lock, finger, turn, pull. Okay. Last technique. Good.